The big deal is that, and this is also good to have as a pointer, uh, instead of using your big finger or paw, or whatever. These are what's called Boyson reeds. These were reed material in the shape of the re of the cage that I have, because Boyson doesn't make these to fit here. What I did was I bought some CR125 uh, power reeds. They were about $65. I used the material and I cut them down to put use them in my in my cage. Now if you have a problem with um, stuttering or um, you know your engine's not running right a lot of times, and no one looks at the reed valves. Okay, you want it, what you want to do is take these reed valves out and look at them. A lot of times, what you have is a fraying right here on this edge, or up here, or up here. It just happens. And if it, if you lose your your suction grip around here, now remember this this little spring right here holds them in. This spring. Holds, you can see the the uh, uh, the marks right here. They hold the reed against the cage. As the suction pulls from the motor, excuse me, it pulls from the motor, the reed opens and then snaps shut. So we say, well, it's just a piece of plastic. What's the big deal? The big deal is this: Boyson reeds create more power because if you think about an, uh, an engine that's running at 1,000 RPMs. Well, these reeds have to open, opening, open and close, open and close so fast. But if you're doing 10,000 RPMs, they have to do the same crisp open and close response or you're going to lose power. That's where Boyson comes in and they can increase your power range to an extra 2,000 RPM. Ordinary rings will give you, or, or ordinary valves will give you something called valve flutter. Valve flutter is where you have you have a very good set of reeds, valves, and they don't open and close with every combustion strike because the fact is that the reeds aren't bending fast enough to close and so the engine isn't working the way the way it should be as say as it does at 1000 rpm now i've made these um, reed valves reeds uh, read a valve reed valves to fit my situation and they've worked pretty good but what i want to show you and remember everything on these little bikes will tell you a story if you look close enough this is the reed cage which the reeds are against now you'll notice now you see I'm holding it in my hand like that and you can see the blue behind it well you can't really see what I'm doing that well so this is what I'm gonna do you need to put a background now is not much better you need to put a background which is gonna show your item and not blend in with the scenery now if we look this used to be really shiny plastic. Now if you see there there's a dull spot, you see the dull spots all the way around the openings. That should be dull all the way around there. If the reeds are sealing against here on this side and we turn it over to this side. If the reeds are not sealing up up in here and you can see it's not sealing right there in that right hand corner right there and it's not sealing right here these are little things they're not a big deal at low rpm but when you get up into high rpms what's happening is you're leaking uh, uh, fuel into the combustion chamber when it shouldn't be there or you're losing compression so what I'm going to do is deck these this uh, intake reed cage so that all of the reeds you see see how I'm pointing at it right now okay you're looking at the at the at the reed cage but you see all this clutter and noise back here and you're going well I, I can't really look at it because 
YouTube is a visual medium, you want to have your item with nothing in the background that's going to be clutter. Now you notice I don't put myself on camera a lot. There's a reason for that. 